Welcome to episode 3 of Challenging Geography Topics and today we will be looking at the Hillstrom Curve. The first thing I'm going to start off with today prior to explaining the Hillstrom Curve is the axes. So it is very important when reading a graph to read the labels on the axes first as well as the units. So the x-axis in this case shows particle size in millimeters. So this is within a river and the y-axis shows velocity which means speed that the water is flowing within the river. The x-axis shows different particles and their sizes. The smallest particle shown is clay followed by silt, sand, gravel, pebbles, as well as cobbles and boulders being the largest. Now this is what the basic graph for the Hillstrom curve looks like. The brown line represents the mean fall or settling velocity and the green line represents the mean critical erosion velocity. Okay, so what is the critical erosion velocity? The critical erosion velocity is also called entrainment velocity, and this is the velocity needed to pick up a river's load. Clay has bonds that stick together, and unlike sand, they do require more energy to pick up and be transported, hence a higher mean critical erosion velocity. Larger particles such as gravel, pebbles, cobbles and boulders have a similar mean critical erosion velocity to that of clay, which is higher. The smaller the particles, the easier they are to pick up. So as you can see, silt is quite easy to pick up from the green line, as well as sand. The only exception to this is clay. The reason as well is similar, as these larger particles require water with more energy to be eroded. What is the mean falling or settling velocity curve? As you can see from the brown line on the graph, as well as the area below the brown line, larger particles are able to settle faster and at a greater amount when compared to smaller particles such as silt and sand, as these remain suspended in flowing water. Larger particles such as pebbles, cobbles and boulders are usually deposited on the river's bed. Now let's talk about the particles that are eroded. From the mean critical erosion velocity line, the green line depicted on the graph, it can be seen that silt and sand are able to be eroded with a lower velocity when compared to larger particles, or specifically clay, which require a higher velocity to be eroded. Now let's talk about particles transported. As you can see, particles transported are directly in between the line of mean critical erosion velocity and mean fall or settling velocity on the graph. As you can see, the smaller particles are mostly transported, such as silt for example, from the wideness in the graph depicted by transported particles. A larger velocity is also required for larger particles to be transported while a smaller velocity is required for the smaller particles, again with the exception of clay. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Challenging Geography Topics, episode 3, which was the Hillstrom Curve. Please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel, CME Institute of Learning.